Well, Chalk Talk number six, and after a couple weeks of some defensive plays and personnel, we'll get back to the offensive side of the ball and the big play, the big chunk play. Now, this offense has had plenty of explosive passes. That's been well documented. In fact, the head coach on Monday told me to go do my homework, and when it comes to passes of 15-plus, the Seahawks have gotten probably more than what the perception of that is, but the big chunks, the 50-yarders, the go-routes, the touchdowns, well, it was nice to see one of those 50-plus, and it came in an unconventional way. This was the throwback to Marshawn, and it absolutely was not a design throwback. We have seen some design throwbacks this year off of play action, and you try to sneak the back out on a little real route. That's not the case here. And let's always go back to our three fundamentals, players, formations, plays. Players, well, with Russell Wilson, what do you want to do? You want to create that separation in space. You want to put him with as much air around him to create and do what he does best. Formations. You're going to notice a couple things on this formation. You're going to see Sidney Rice on the ball. You're going to see Doug Baldwin on the ball. You're going to see Luke Wilson off of the ball. All that's on purpose for the routes, and we'll get to the structure of those routes in a moment. And then ultimately, let your players make the plays that they make best. And that's exactly in this case what Russell and Marshawn do. This is going to be one of their zone read actions. So you're going to see the entire line block like it's a zone read run. And actually, Marshawn fakes the handoff with Russell Wilson. And I'll get to Marshawn and what he does after that in just a moment. And that action, well, it starts to affect the defense. And you're going to see actually the linebacker here. And keep an eye on this linebacker, actually the tandem. Because T Tennessee, in this case, is going to play man-to-man -man coverage. You can see that with the press outside. You're going to see that with the, t with the strong safety that walks down to cover Luke Wilson. You're going to see that with the deep free safety. And then you're going to see these two linebackers in man coverage who typically will have to combo the back. One of them becomes what we call a lurker, which is a man free, an extra linebacker to lurk in the middle of the field there. But they've got a combo off of the back and they lose sight of Marshawn Lynch after the fake. The one linebacker gets caught up in the wash. The other linebacker is going to help on Sidney Rice, who after, after Russell makes the fake, they run the naked. Actually, the end gets upfield. Luke blocks him, but he gets covered. So you've got covered. You've got covered. You've got with the nickel and the linebacker covered. And actually, the safety jumps at two. So number one, number two, and number three, this, the crossing route to Sydney, covered, 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 and oh, by the way, I'll make the end miss and get outside. But who then remains uncovered in man coverage? And I give Marshawn a ton of credit. Yes, you get an asterisk if, asterisk if you're Russell Wilson. You get a plus play. Your grade sheet shows big plus play for the explosive play. But give a ton of credit to Marshawn to not get caught up in the mess and to go full speed. Why does he go full speed? Because he knows this number three is going to break contain. He knows that number three is going to have a full field awareness. He knows that number three, even when one, two, and three are covered, still has the capability of launching a ball 50 yards across the field that he can catch on the run and take for another 50 plus yards. It's everybody doing their job. It's the players put in a position to have success. It's a formation that shows goes naked and, and gets everybody in the right spots to affect the defense, and then ultimately it's the play. It's the quarterback and the running back making a game-defining play on the first one of the fourth quarter with a tied game that really turned the tide in that final frame.